Welcome to this lesson on Terraform. This is Terraform Zero to Hero. I'm your instructor, Evan Curtis. Today, we're going to talk about the Terraform core workflow. So the workflow can be broken down into three simple steps. We write, we author infrastructure as code, we plan, preview the changes before applying, and we apply, we provision, we provision reproducible infrastructure. So in the writing phase, you write Terraform configuration just like you write code in the editor. Um, and as you make progress, you repeatedly run Terraform plan to flush out any syntax errors. This gives you immediate feedback on the code that you've written and you can see the changes that you've made. In the uh, um, planning phase, this is where you would uh, basically see the output of the Terraform plan. And um, you know you would plan the code, you run Terraform plan and then you'd run Git add main TF, for example, and commit, you'd add your commits as you go through the plan. So if you're building out infrastructure, you run the plan, Terraform plan successively over and over again, as you build out your infrastructure, following each plan with a commit, that way, by the time you're ready to run and apply, you have a fully functioning configuration all set up. So after you run Terraform apply, you'll be prompted one last time if you want to save your changes. We can um, improve the core workflow by introducing Terraform Cloud. So Terraform Cloud provides a centralized and secure location for storing input variables in state. So you specify the organization and the workspace that you want to use. Then you select that workspace. Terraform Cloud um, requires an API key. Once that's all set up, with the assistance of the plan, team members can work on each um, configuration until it's ready to be pulled in through a pull request. So you can see here you're running Terraform plan in this workspace and it's running the plan in the enterprise. So once a pull request is ready to review, the status update indicates whether there are any changes in the speculative plan right from the pull request view. After you apply, um, Terraform Cloud presents a concrete plan for the team to review and approval. One last time, so the command init is used to initialize a working directory containing Terraform configuration files. And the command validate validates the configuration files in the directory, referring only to the configuration and not accessing any remote services such as remote state. The command plan is used to create an execution plan. The command ply is used to apply the changes required to each of the desired state of the configuration. Command destroy is used to destroy the Terraform managed infrastructure. It's the reverse of Terraform applied. That's it for the core Terraform workflow. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Keep on learning Terraform.